Hello, hello, hello. What ho? Welcome back to another exciting adventure of Pienza Aste Viejo. This is your host. I'm your host. That was your host. He's your host. Travis Finley. Talking to myself while I'm walking because I'm just thinking about my life because I'm now in a state of transition again against my will. As if anything is well. Huh? Yeah, there you go. Answered my own question, manifestation. Manifestation station. But anyway, I just had a killer tortilla chip taco Tuesday tuna melt deliciousness night. I felt like, oh man, I'm so full, I just want to go to bed. It's only 5.30. <laughs> So I'm going to go walk for my two hours and then go to bed. But uh, anyway. Uh, Yeah, so my oldest son informed me that he was raising my rent. I did this, I don't know, a week and a half ago. I guess probably a week and a half ago. Raise your rent, Dad. Oh, really? I said, is the rent going up? He said, yours is. And I said, okay, why is that? It's like, you, I, I keep having to tell you the same things over and over again. So this now takes a backstory, right? So here's the backstory. Whatever the sound is for transitioning into the past. You know, I start rooming with him. And... Uh, you know, just a couple things that stick into my mind as to what he what he said. He said three different things, right? But it's it's just interesting, and I don't know the order, so I can't tell you with all accuracy. Um, you know, which came first, the chicken or the egg? But at one point, he said, "I don't know how some of my friends do it. They live with somebody else, at, you know, and it's not like a a, a marriage or anything. It's a." Um, Sorry, I was waiting for the crosswalk. There is, um, there's a, a Maryland law that says that, you know, you have to stop for pedestrians when they're at the crosswalk. So this guy stops his side, and the other side just keeps going. Well, I can't cross if both sides aren't stopped. So I waved to the other guy. I shrugged him. I'm like, what are you going to do? But um, three things that my son said. He said, I, I don't know how people live together that don't have you know the same ideas about keeping things clean or whatever I'm like you know like what are you talking about he's like the bulls go where the bulls go okay that's all he said the bulls go where the bulls go now in retrospect as I've had these weeks and weeks to think about communication I should have said can you explain to me what that means (laughs) because I I think I know what it means it means you know you don't put the bowls on top of the plates. The plates are the plates and the bowls are the bowls, right? That's the way I interpreted it or whatever. So what I should have said was, can you please explain to me what that means? I need you to be as clear as possible. Now, had I known this was his personality like to a triggering point, I would have been much, much more attentive to what was going on. Like, I just didn't even think, I mean, look, I haven't lived with anybody for five years, right? And then, <laughs> this is the funny part, right? This is the kicker. This is the kick to the shins with pointy boots. Um, the last person I lived with was his mother. So then what do I do after five years of living with myself and telling myself how awesome I am? I move in with someone who's the product of both of us, both his mother and I, right? So he's going to have both of our personalities. So guess which one I don't get along with? (laughs) I do not get along with his mother's personality in him. And it's been a really interesting psychopathy. But um, so he said, you know, this is like, he, the, I'm now ad-libbing, improvising, 
this is like uh, Felix and Oscar on the the Odd Couple. You know, these two guys. That one's one's neat and tidy, and the other one's uh, you know spontaneous and discombobulated or whatever. So he says that. Then he says at another point, at another time, you're a you're like the greatest roommate ever. You're like the greatest guy to roommate with. Because I was like picking up shit, right? Cleaning, washing his dishes that he leaves. Washing his messes that he leaves. Okay? That should be a point noted in the back of your brain at this point in the narrative. Now I can't remember what the third thing was that he said. It'll come to me and I'll say it again. I'll say it, but... um. So he says, you know, I don't know how, because he was like, he was getting triggered inside because I was not him in terms of, you know, how he keeps the house or whatever, or I don't even know. Oh, oh, well, okay. So this isn't what I was going to say, but this is another example. One of the very first conflicts that we had was when I turned up the thermostat uh, because it was cold, right? This is like couple, I don't know. Was it cold or was it hot? I can't remember which now. Because it wasn't... I'm trying to think. Anyway. Um, so, I messed with the thermostat and he said to me, in all seriousness, uh, don't do that. This is my apartment. You don't change my temperature that I've got it set to. Okay? I was like, whoa, okay. That's interesting. And then, this is how I'm contrasting his personality. His kitchen table is covered in just detritus. Detritus, man. Just bills and paper and not food and you, you can't even eat. Well, now you can because he went psycho. But when I showed up, you couldn't eat on the kitchen table. And so I was using... Oh, yeah, this is the other thing. I was using his uh, coffee table as my desktop during the day. And it was just set off to the side somewhere. It didn't look like it had any really form or function in the room, so I pulled it and put it in front of where I was sitting. And I left it there, I just left it set up. Well, when he came home, he's like, I don't, you know, that, that's not where the coffee table goes. I'm like, bro, it was like behind the curtains, no one could see it. It wasn't like in the middle with all this decorations on it and making a centerpiece of the room. I just pulls the shank, the feng shui together. You feel me? So it wasn't like that. So he busts my balls on two things. And then he's got this kitchen table that's just covered with, with junk mail and detritus, like I said. And um, because of the coffee table situation with my computer, he said, why didn't you just use the, co- the kitchen table? And I said, Be- well, because it's, I, ca- I can't see the kitchen table. And he goes, oh, you could have just moved stuff around. Okay, hold on, right? I mean, do you get it right now? Right? That should, that should be strike three. Like, if he hadn't given me permission to use the coffee table and move stuff around however I wanted it, in the way that we're going, when I do something that's in conflict with his mindset, that's a strike. I had strike one, strike two. If I would have taking it upon myself, my prerogative, to move things that aren't mine out of the way. Like, I didn't do that specifically because, like, when I first got to the apartment, I didn't do that. I looked at that and I was like, I can't use that. I can't move that around. You know, like, that's his stuff. I can't clean that up. I don't know where the stuff goes, right? And it wasn't a big deal. I wasn't like... I. Anyway, so we have this characteristic of this person who 
is not a consistently well-trained housekeeper, okay? He went on spurts, whatever, wiped down, you know, cleaned up everything, blah, blah, blah. but then within three days, it's got three days of use that's not been cleaned up in three days. So it's intermittent. So there's no like, there's no hard and fast anal retentive keep this thing spotless at all times, right? If it had been that way, no problem. I could dance that dance, no problem. But guess what I did? I danced his dance, right? Because after a while, I started seeing the pattern that this guy doesn't keep up with his own shit. It's not like he's busy beyond all availability, you know? I've seen him waste tons of time when he could be cleaning up his stuff. So he's got the time. I just don't have time. Blah, 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 blah. I gotta take care of a kid. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Wine, wine, wine. Cry, cry, cry. And then I'm looking around, watching him go out to a bar, go out with his girl or whatever. I'm like, you got, you got time, bro. You got time, right? Now, that's not to say that I just left shit around. No, I, I would end up having to wash his dishes because he would put them in the sink and it was only one basin. It didn't have a divider, so you couldn't like wash and rinse, wash and rinse. So, uh, you know, when, when the kitchen sink was, was full, I couldn't rinse off what I was gonna put into the dishwasher because the, di- because the dishwasher was gonna sit until everything's in there and then you dry, if it dries, it cakes on and blah, 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 right? So I was like having to use the sink. So I'm not saying that I just was looser with my own standards, right? So he decides, oh yeah, yeah. So then his first command to me was thou shalt put the bowls where the bowls go. I interpreted it one way, like just common sense. Okay, I I must have, right, which I, I shouldn't have assumed. I should have said, can you explain to me what I did that doesn't reflect what you just stated right now? That's what I should have said. Never assume. Ne- never assume. I just, I didn't, like that's, wow. Okay, so. I assumed I did my thing. He got triggered, finally got to the point of having to speak to me about it or whatever. He's like, look, Dad, I already, I already talked to you about this. You're not putting the bulls back where they belong. And now at that point, I'm like, okay, I'm confused now. Like, so now what do you mean? So then he shows me that these discombobulated hodgepodge of bulls that aren't storage bowls, so they don't have lips so that you can snug the lid over it. They're just mixing bowls or cereal bowls or, well, they're not cereal bowls because he has a collection of cereal bowls, but they're, um, I don't know. They're like mixing bowls, I guess. And they're all different. They're like porcelain, glass, (laughs) plastic, whatever, right? There's no rhyme or reason. So it's just like hodgepodge. So he goes, you're putting the bowls with lids with the bowls that don't have lids. You're mixing them up. I'm like, okay. I thought you just wanted like, and then I went back and I'm like, okay, well, I, okay, okay. So now, now we're clear. You know, is there anything else at this point? Okay. So then since that time, he's not said anything to me about anything until I went away on vacation. And he texted me and said, hey, we, you know, I need to talk to you. So now we're talking. I'm recounting the talk with a flashback. Multiple flashbacks. And um, you know, I train of thought back. Hodgepodge bulls, right? Okay, so he hasn't, so he texts me and says, Uh, I need to talk to you. I'm like, okay, what's up? He's like, no, no, I I don't want to text. I want to talk. So then we call, we talk. I'm in, I'm in, uh, Milwaukee. And, uh, he's like, uh, I'm raising your rent. 
And I said, oh, uh, is the rent going up? He said, yours is. And I said, well, why is that? And I said, how much? He's like, $100. I'm like, how, how much? Why? Because this is now the third or whatever. I have, I've had to repeatedly speak to you about the same issue. I'm like, what issue is that? He couldn't even tell me. Right? This is exactly the way his mother used to drive me to the point of questioning my own reality, my own sense and sensibility. 